five habits lowering your vibration and you don't even know it. Humans are naturally high vibrational beings, but because of the conditioning that we have gone through through our lives and social behaviors, we have adopted habits that are lowering our vibrations. And today we're going to go through the most common ones. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Valentina and I'm here to help you embrace your light. So without further ado, the first habit that I want to talk about is diet. And when I'm talking about diet, I'm not only talking about what we eat, I'm also talking about what we watch, what we listen to, and who we surround ourselves with. So on the what we eat part, I think that is becoming more popular knowledge these days that chemically enhanced foods and highly processed foods are vibrational lowering machines. You know something? Every time you eat something that's supposed to be good for you, you are supposed to feel energized. You're supposed to feel light, you're supposed to feel well, you're supposed to feel happy. So when you eat something that you makes you want to lay on the couch for hours, that right there is your body telling you that what you ate is lowering your vibration. So avoid all foods that are not making you feel happy and energized. On the what we listen to and what we watch, remember this, your subconscious mind is always listening and watching. So let's say that consciously you're choosing songs or music that have a really nice beat to it, or you're choosing TV programs that are really fun to watch, but they might be of a violent kind. The same with the music lyrics. Maybe they're just ugly or talking about violence. So while the music is nice and while you're watching something that mm, makes you laugh, your subconscious mind is watching and your subconscious mind is learning through repetition. So the more violent stuff you listen to and you watch, the more your subconscious mind is learning and you are going to be kept on a low vibrational state. On the whole, we surround ourselves with part. Remember that it is your choice how and with whom do you engage with energetically or physically? So you just have to avoid people that are in a low vibrational state. The more you surround yourself with people who are in a low vibrational state, the more you're going to be absorbing the low vibrational state that is surrounding you. And you don't want that. In my personal opinion, the best way to avoid that, because sometimes it is really difficult to just control the people that are going to be surrounding you or the people that are going to be approaching you. So for me, when low vibrational people approaches me, what I do is that I choose to engage with them from a place of love and compassion. I just engage with the things that I find positive about them. And it might only be that a girl has a really nice hair or that a guy has a really nice smile, but I'd rather engage with the positivity or how positive I choose to think they are that when the low vibrational state, because that's something I don't want for myself. So that brings me to the second habit, which is about mindless activities like social media or browsing the internet. I think that nowadays all of us have found ourselves scrolling through social media forever, for hours, with no purpose whatsoever. And after that, we just, you know, we're like, okay, so I just wasted my time. I just wasted three hours of my life. And do I feel better? No. Do I feel worse? No. What is bringing something positive into my life? No. You see that right there, the endless hours of browsing through social media or browsing through the internet, they are not bringing you anything good. So you just try to avoid that activity. So for the third habit, 
this is something that is really comparable to, to the watching part. But the thing is that we also engage with it physically. And it has to do with playing violent video games. Do you see? As I said before, your subconscious mind is watching, your subconscious mind is listening. And the thing with video games is that we're not only watching and listening, we're also engaging with it energetically and physically. And we're taking decisions about how we want the video game to develop, how we would like it to develop. So for our subconscious mind, oh, our subconscious mind doesn't know what is reality and what's not reality. So the more you engage with violent situations, the more that's gonna lower your vibration. And remember, subconscious mind learns through repetition. So yeah, the more you do it, the more your subconscious mind is gonna learn about keeping you in that low vibration. For the fourth habit, really important because it has to do with doing things that go against our own values. You see, how many times probably you yourselves, or I mean, I'm guilty of it, you yourself, or you have seen people talk about, hey, well, I'm not gonna react to that, or I'm not gonna say anything because I want to keep the peace in the relationship, or I want to keep my family in a peaceful state, or, you know, I just don't want to get into a discussion. I don't want to get into a fight. You know what? Every time you say that you want to keep the peace in a situation, thus not reacting to it, you're letting people walk all over your boundaries. Why is that? Because you are creating a mismatch. You're feeling a certain way. You have your values, but you don't say your stuff because you are, you want to avoid something that might end up or might not end up into a fight. So you would rather have people walk all over your boundaries than saying something. You know what? That right there lowers your vibration. And the best you can do is to respect your values. That's how you want to go through life. You want to respect your values. So don't avoid speaking up your truth or don't avoid saying things just because you think that people might react in a negative way. That's pretty much their business. You have to be true to yourself. And that brings me to the fifth habit that lowers our vibration, which has to do with gossiping and complaining. I think that we are aware of ourselves so that we don't go around gossiping and complaining, but sometimes it's really difficult to control the people that want to come to us with some sort of gossip or complaints. But a practice that has been really useful to me is to witness. Just to witness the situation, let the people say whatever they want to say, then I usually just say, oh, well, interesting. And then I just move on with my life because I don't want to engage in that kind of low vibrational practice. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Also, let me know about the habits that lower your vibration that you're working on clearing out of your life. Remember to like and subscribe and thank you very much for watching.